All right, all right, all right. So this is going to be another review video. It's going to be regarding the new exotic pistols. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, there's been a lot of videos about this exotic pistol, and um, a lot of them are misleading. They're they're sitting there saying, "Oh, 200% damage. Oh, it's the best thing ever." In reality, let's be real. None of you are going to end up getting all of that damage. And even the videos saying you could get all that damage, they didn't show you getting any of it. They showed you getting just a little portion. But don't take my word for it. Let's jump right in. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 PTS video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know in the comment section below what you think. And in today's PTS video, we are going to break down the busy little bee. I'm even going to show you just a little testing build for it and show you how it works. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. But with all that said and done, I do have to, you know, hit you with a spoiler warning because this is for an exotic that is not in the full game yet. It will be introduced in Season 10 Title Update 16, which is set to release on September 13th. So without further ado, here is your spoiler warning. You're thinking what I think you're thinking. I'm thinking it. What are we thinking? Thinking what? I'm thinking it too. All right, you're still here? Good. Now let's talk about the new exotic. So here we are. So the new exotic in question is called the Busy Little Bee. And this is the uh, exotic, what's supposed to be kind of like the lightning rod named pistol. This is supposed to be the exotic variant. Now it does come with a little blurb there at the top. It says, practically perfect in every way, as long as you never miss. <laughs> Interesting little blurb. Now, what makes this thing so unique is the talent Busy Little B. So each shot to a different target will stack one time up to 10. Each stack will give you 20% weapon damage. And that's where everyone's like, oh, you get 200% weapon damage. This thing's OP. It's amazing. Blah, blah. No, it's not. It's not. You, each shot has to hit a different target. Now I'm going to show you some gameplay in the dark so me trying this on different players. You can't just have like a group of four PVPing and then you shoot all four of them and then go back and shoot all four of them again. It doesn't work. It does not stack that way. It has to be different targets every single time you shoot. So to even to get the 200% weapon damage, you have to shoot 10 different targets. You have to shoot 10 different targets without shooting the same one over again. Now, the stacks will stay there until you switch weapons and, you know, apply that buff to your other weapon. But still, you would have to shoot 10 different enemies. Now, this was my problem with this weapon in PTS Phase 1, where they made it to where you had to shoot 20 different enemies. And I was like, hell no, nah, throw that thing in the trash. Like, I'm not going to sit there and try to shoot 20 different enemies. Or What are you, crazy? And they said, oh, okay, we'll simplify it for you. Simplified. They actually said that. They said that. That is a direct quote from the devs. We have simplified this talent to make it easier for people. And all it did was make it easier for PVP players. Let's be real. Um, no one's gonna use this for the 200% weapon damage. The only thing people are gonna use this for is when you're in PVP and you see people down the road, you can shoot two of them with the pistol, switch to your King Breaker or whatever, and then just beam them with that extra weapon damage. You're not even gonna get close to the 200% that all these other people are claiming you're going to be able to do. It's not going to be possible. Unless you're sitting there running around with a shield and you shoot one enemy, run away. Shoot another enemy, run away. And make sure you don't shoot the same enemy twice because it's not going to keep stacking. So you have to shoot 10 different enemies. Let me know in the comment section below right now. Let me know in chat right now. Do you think you'll be able to fully proc this in the real game? That means you have to run around with this pistol, shoot 10 different enemies, and then switch to your other weapon and start engaging. Come on. Let's be real. Let's be real. The, the, the way this is going to be used, and I'm calling it right now, is you're going to have a 4v4, 
and one person is going to shoot, you know, two, three, maybe even four people, and then switch their weapon and just use that extra damage to their bonus, you know, to their primary weapon. And even still, I mean, that's strong in itself because now you're getting 20% weapon damage per stack. But to get 10, come on, let's be real. Anyways, looking at this weapon, it does have a 400 RPM with a 30 round magazine. Now, when I'm testing this, it is maxed out, expertise level 20, max pistol damage, and damage targets out of cover. Now I'm gonna use it with this build right here just because I'm gonna try to hit as many different enemies as I can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a deflector shield, I'm gonna use the busy little bee, and I'm really gonna try to hit 10 enemies, but I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna be possible, but I'll try it anyways, I'll try it anyways, just to make you guys happy. Um, but all of these other um, avenues and you know people saying that, oh, it's 200%, this is the best thing ever, no you're not going to get 200%, and I'll show you real time. It's kind of like the striker change, where everyone's like, oh, 200% damage, we're going to be killing everything, 200 stacks. But in reality, you're not. You're not going to get up there, and you're not going to maintain 200 stacks. Let's be real. Anyways, so, um, yeah, I'm going to show you in the firing range, and then I'm going to show you in the actual game uh, using this pistol. And then at the end, I'll show you the Dark Zone gameplay of me using this against players and showing you how it's, I mean, it it will help in PvP, but you're not going to be able to get 200% weapon damage. It's not going to be possible. So let's go ahead and let's just put this to 5 meters, okay? I'll show you how this works. Invulnerable Elite. Now, with my first exotic review, I called this the worst uh, new exotic out of the three, being this one, the Bloody Knuckles, and the Dr. Home. I think the Dr. Home is going to be a really fun rifle to use. I think the Bloody Knuckles is going to support, you know, melee builds and make people happy that way. But this one, I don't know. All right. So just uh, right off the bat, so one shot with my rock and roll. 95k is my uh, highest crit. 95k, okay? Everyone saw that. All right, so 95k. So shooting an enemy, it'll put that buff on them. You see it right there? That's that, you know, that buff. Now, I shoot all of these different enemies, okay? I'm leaving a mark on all of them. Pretty cool. Oop, did I hit it? There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I have quite a number of uh, marks here, and there we go. Now if I switch to my other weapon, consumes all the stacks, boom. Now I'm at 200k instead of the 95k. Now that is a huge, huge buff. Now that's why I would say using this with a deflector drone, or a deflector shield would be the way to go. Because now you're just marking all of these enemies, right? You're, you're getting uh, all of these stacks. You can see all the different indicators pop up. Yep, yep, yep. Cool, cool, cool. And then what I do is then throw that off, switch to the ACS-12, and boom, shoot them. That's how I would use this. Now, even still, that did not give me max stacks. This is only, what, maybe a handful of targets? And they're all standing still. So to do this in the real game and then switch just to try to get some damage bonus? I, I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think about this. I am very skeptical. If uh, you, you can't hear it in my voice, I'm very skeptical when it comes to this exotic. I did not like it during Phase 1. And this, uh, this rework for Phase 2 is in the right direction. But I still don't think it's, it's going to be viable. Uh, unless you're, you know, shooting one or two enemies, switching over just to have, you know, a little bit of a buff, that would be the way to go. Um, but to sit, sit there and say you're going to have 200% weapon damage, it's not. It's not going to be viable. Not like that. All right. Oop. Oh, nice. We have a little chainsaw guy. All right, come on, bro. Oh, hold on. I'm going to shoot him with the Slayer. Let's see if I can confuse him. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh my God. The Slayer is unstoppable. 
The unstoppable slayer. Oh, I got you. I got you. Boom. Headshot. Oh my god, this is hilarious. I'm sorry that I'm shooting the snowballs right now. Um, I hate doing this mission and then starting it off with an ambush. So I'm just killing them real quick. It's hilarious. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. All done. Okay. So we're about to try this out. Okay. I'm going to try to hit as many different enemies as I can and then switch and consume that extra weapon damage. Here we go. Heroic Lincoln Memorial meet the busy little bee. Oh my gosh. I, I think this is about to get ugly. I, I'm really not. <laughs> I really don't think this is going to be viable. Maybe like pop shotting people in PvP just to get that extra buff. Maybe. But that's about it. Yeah, man, there's no way. See? You're running around trying to get stacks. There's just no way. I'll try it again. Agent killed. It, it's just not viable. It's really not. It's not viable. Now you can see I still have those stacks right now. They do not get consumed until I switch weapons. Oh, shit. So let's see. Okay. And then switch weapons. Yeah, it's not. It's not really working. I mean, right there it works. But I'm not getting anywhere near the max stacks. Like, not even close. Reload. Let's switch back to the pistol. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I got it. I, I'm getting it to work, but you can see the stacks down below. I'm not. I'm not even getting half of the stacks. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know how I feel about this exotic. Now, obviously, again in PvP, if I ran an all red build, and then I see like a team run after me, and I just pop shot a few of them, and then switch my weapon, yeah, that would work. That would really work for PvP for just a quick damage buff. But as far as getting 200 stacks, it's just not viable. It's really not. I mean, the damage increase is real, though. I mean, it is really nice. It really is. Let's see. And it does stack on the enemy skills. I'm trying, I'm trying. I am getting the stacks. I mean, it, it it's there, but I just don't know. And the stacks are gone. And then I'd have to do this all over again. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I, I really don't even want to finish this mission. I think that uh, I'm not going to use this, is what I think. Oh, come on, let me hit that guy from downrange. Oh, come on. All right, all right, screw it. There we go. Damage buff activated. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. It's just not, yeah, it's not viable. I do not like this exotic. I don't know. How would you guys run it? What, a big-ass bulwark shield? Let's try it with a big-ass bulwark shield. I just don't think it's viable, guys. I really don't. I think if you just put it as your sidearm, 
for a PvP build. Yeah, cool. It'll be nice. But come on. Let, let's be real. Everything else is just a gimmick. It, it's not going to work the way people are claiming it to be. They're like, oh, 200% weapon damage. Yeah, right. Show me you getting 200% weapon damage with this. Please. Please. Show me you getting 200% weapon damage and actually using it. Highly doubtful. All right, let's try it again. All right, there's those two. There's three. Move. There's four. Okay. I think that's everyone here. Serious trauma detected. It's just too much. There's too much involved in these mechanics. And then you, you can't even properly use the stacks. This is not fun, guys. I, I'm not going to use it the way that I'm sure they intended it to be. In fact, I don't even know the way they intended this to be. It's just not fun. I'd rather just sit around here with the rock and roll and just go banana pancakes. I mean, it's good for spamming pistol rounds, but I mean, Come on. immediate medical assistance needed. Got a visual nah, I don't know. All right, I'm, I'm done with this, guys. Um, as far as my review, I do not like this exotic still, even with them quote unquote simplifying this talent. It, it's just not my cup of tea. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Take care, everyone. Have a good day. Until the next time, peace. Rogue Hive detected. Hostile Hive detected. Medical assistance needed. Right. That it shoot each shot to a different target, it has to be up to ten. So
That's a lot of bullets in that gun. The Bloody Knuckles is a good melee one, right? So, what if you equip that with that one holster that does 500% melee damage? <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Yeah, it actually did pretty, it hit my shield pretty good though. Try that again. Yeah, look at that. My shield just disappeared. <laughs> pop, pop, pop your shield and do it. Mine doesn't do much. Are you are you are you using the holster with it too? I wasn't doing anything to you. Uh, I think the striker shield only does it if you stand behind the person and fire it from the blue area, so I don't think it's going to do anything behind the person with the shield. One drop. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just be honest, bad guys. Easy drop incoming. Engaging uh. landmark. Uh. Eat this. 
Incoming hostiles detected. Landmark has been cleared. Beard. Oh, I there were bad guys, so I went and fought with some other guy who killed all the bad guys, and I was. That's sick. <laughs> now are you using it with the striker shield? Striker shield, lady death, those those gloves, bare knuckles with the chest piece. DZ drop claimed by a shade agent. Dark zone drop expired.
You are now group leader. Another agent has joined your group. 